All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the Pokemon Rumble Run. Any person passwords by Rubber Ducky Assassin. We're ready to go. So come one, come all. Have a seat. Enjoy the show. By the way, Rubber Ducky, how are you doing today? Good. How are you? How are you feeling about doing this run right now? I'm excited. I've been uh, working with this game for a few years now. Finally get to get it in a pretty big marathon. I'm excited to show this off. Have some fun. Perfect. Play some Pokemon. All right. Well, we're going to be ready to go on your count. There we go. All right. On your mark. All right. So, how's everyone doing today, guys? We're good? All right. All right. We have a couch member, too. What's up, man? All right. So, which file are we doing, A or B? C? No, I can't do C. A. All right. Okay. All right. Time starts when we select the file. So, in three, two, one, go. Yeah! All right, so first thing I'm going to do is hand this Wiimote to uh, my friend on the couch here, because we're going to do some finger stretches. Here, hold this controller for me. All right, so whatever you want to do with Wiimote, you got to do some finger stretches, all right? Because we're going to do a lot of mashing. We're going to do a lot of, uh, you know, using the fingers. Um, so this uh, game has nothing going on for a few minutes. Um, so to just describe the game a little bit, uh, Pokemon Rumble is a game where you play as uh, the actual Pokemon, and they're little toys that uh, so, anyway, uh, there are little Pokemon toys, and um, instead of like leveling up like uh, with experience or something, uh, you go into each stage, or six stages in each rank, and there's a certain power to each Pokemon, and there's four ranks to each game, and um, uh, each rank gets more difficult. So. Uh, the rank that we're in right now is going to be C rank, um, and we're basing the story around this little Rotata right here that's being pretty uh, naughty, uh, going into this very powerful battle royale um, way too early, and uh, he's going to feel the, the burn quite soon here. So a little uh, interesting fact about uh, this battle royale is that it's the fastest battle royale to do. Um, and we'll get to see how that goes in a few seconds. Uh, after all this tutorial stuff, which takes about like five, six minutes, basically every cutscene that we're going to be able to see, uh, we're going to be able to mash straight through it. Um, so this is just showing the great graphics of a um, Nintendo Wii uh, 2009 WiiWare game. Um, Polygon's at its finest, friends. All right, so the strat here is to go up to this butter tree and stand there and do nothing and die. So, the reason we do that is uh, because in order to get into this battle royale, you have to be a power of 100. The Chitata is only a power of about 29 to 31, so it's not going to do much damage to any of the Pokemon anyway. Um, and even if we were to try and stay in that battle royale and complete it, uh, you can't. Even if you were to kill everything, it would just do the loose screen anyway, and you'll have to do go, go out of here and do this all over again anyway. So, uh, this is the little tutorial level. It only lets us go into this first one. Um, the text boxes are just telling us how to play the game. We know how to play the game, so we're just going to tackle through them uh, just to get a little bit more uh, distance. Oh, well, we're not supposed to be able to move. And we're going to kill this Pikachu. So, Pokemon drops um, are uh, random to an extent. Um, either they'll just randomly drop for no reason other than they drop. Um, if they have kind of a sparkly tint to them, uh, they will drop. All shiny Pokemon drop first try. And if you make a Pokemon dizzy, it will drop. Um, that's not too much of an uh, issue going in this category specifically. Uh, because passwords are um, kind of like a New Game Plus, but not exactly New Game Plus. Um, because for, uh, New Game Plus, uh, you can just use whatever Pokemon you get in your like casual profile. Um, for passwords, we're using a certain uh, code that Nintendo gave out. Um, they gave out, gave out like an eight-digit code um, for each uh, version. So PAL got a few different ones, NTSC got a few different ones, JP got a few different ones. Um, and some of those Pokemon that they give the passwords for are pretty good. Um, and I hope you guys like Rattata, because Rattata is one of the best Pokemon in this game. Um, we're going to be using him a lot. Not this one specifically, but the password one. 
Um, so we have about three Pokemon um, that are password um, that we're going to be using today right after this tutorial level. Um, and this, this Pikachu's power is uh, 48. Um, that's actually the lowest it could possibly be, so it's probably not going to do that much damage to it. Ideally, you want to do 6 to 7 damage to this Ivysaur, but I'm only doing 5 to 6, but it's still okay. And again, we're going to be able to skip a lot of this. All this stuff is going to be able to either be sped up or skipped right after this tutorial level. So, And we don't need to pick up the Ivysaur, so we're just going to dodge him. So these are the six stages. Um, the stages stay the same. Um, the only thing that changes about them is uh, how long they get and just a different Pokemon in each rank. So this Rattata is our first password Pokemon that we're going to be showing off. Um, he's shiny, so that's cool. Uh, and he has a special trait named uh, it's called Speedy. Uh, special traits are kind of like natures in this game where they make uh, certain aspects of your Pokemon a lot better than uh, just your normal Pokemon. So Speedy uh, doubles the walking speed of the Pokemon, um, which is very useful in this game as a whole uh, for the speedrun. Um, it also has a move called Double Edge, which does a whole lot of damage, and it has multiple hitboxes, so it can... Uh, if you miss like one hit, it'll still hit the second time. It also launches them forward, which can be useful in sections like that where the game's going to stop you. If you time that... Um, pretty perfectly uh, you can get further and further into that stage with double edge um, another useful thing about uh, double edge is that obviously it's like super powerful and has stab so it does even more damage so Rattata is just super super OP um, so the point of uh, this rank now is we want to get into the battle royale and defeat it as soon as possible if you want to do that you have to get the power you need um, so the power for rank C is 100, and you do that by uh, completing stages and collecting Pokemon is the only way to get more powerful Pokemon. So by the time you complete about three stages, uh, the Pokemon become more and more powerful. Um, after that third stage is usually when the power that you need is going to start showing up in certain Pokemon. Um, so what we're doing is we're just going to the fastest stages to possibly complete, and that is including uh, the length of each room and how defensive the boss is, so how easy it is to kill. And then we're going to go into the room that is uh, that has the best Pokemon in terms of fighting. Um, in some cases, you can have the boss drop. That's usually just a random act, um, and it can be useful later on. It's never really useful on rank C. So we finished our three stages, and then we're going to go into the Rocky Cave. Rocky Cave has some pretty good Pokemon in it. Machop is the best one, and we just get the 100 power. So what we're doing is we're just going to kill everything in sight and hope that we get the 100 power drop. Um, it's definitely more likely in, in Rocky Cave just because, again, everything is pretty good um, in terms of their fighting. Uh, and also we've completed three stages. So now it's just up to the RNG gods to let us continue on with the speedrun. So compared to other uh, Pokemon speedruns, this game is actually one of the least RNG heavy Pokemon games, I would say. I'm just going to go into this Rattata right now, because uh, we're going to have to uh, warp, death warp out of the stage in order to save anything. Uh, anyway, so... We're just going to do that now. Okay, cool. So we got the Shaman. Uh, Shaman is our newly added to... Um, I used to use Shaman more so as a backup Pokemon, but uh, do I was doing a lot of timing stuff recently, and uh, Shaman's actually really useful in the Battle Royales. Um, but we got the power Pokemon that we needed, so once we found the Pokemon that we needed, uh, it tells you the power at the bottom when you collect it. Uh, you just death warp out, so you have three lives in each rank, uh, and you just death warp out. Because if you uh, just exit the stage, you won't save anything that you did in that stage. So you have to either have to complete it fully or just die. So dying is fine. It's faster. 
And the reason we use Shaman and, and uh, instead of Blastoise, which is the Pokemon we used to use in Battle Royales, is because this move right here, uh, first things first, is a lot more powerful than the move that we were using with Blastoise. And then secondly, um, it has a lot more range than Blastoise's move does. And uh, as you can see, these Pokemon are kind of starting to like zone in on us. So it's more so getting rid of that first group of Pokemon um, as fast as possible so that you can get to the faster sections of the Battle Royale. And the Battle Royale is kind of just testing your strength. Uh, can you beat all the Pokemon that would be in this rank? Uh, so they get a few Pokemon from each uh, stage in each rank and they put it in the Battle Royale and you have to kill it. You have three lives to do it. It's not a hard thing to do, especially with the passwords. Because um, in order to put a password Pokemon, like in order to use them, you have to put them onto your remote. Um, unless you want to be fast about it, you put them onto your remote. Um, in order to do that, you have to fully maximize their power. Um, so uh, at the moment, the Shaman and Rattata, their power is only 99 because the power I need is 100. So it would be pretty broken if I could just put any Pokemon here that's over 100 right to the Battle Royale. So they neutralized it, which is good. Um, it still means that those Pokemon do a whole lot of damage uh, to the Battle Royale, so that's why I use them in the Battle Royale. Okay. <laughs> Supposed to just leave the stage, but... Controllers seem to be acting up a bit. I love controller guns as much as anyone next to me does. All right, so we're done with Rink C. And this is the mysterious Pokemon that we're all gonna we have to fight sometime in the end of this game somewhere. I'm not sure what Pokemon it is. Maybe you guys can guess what Pokemon it is. In the meantime, I'm gonna continue the speed run. Try to. I mean, I don't know Pokemon that much, and even I can guess which one it is. Uh, for all I know, it could be a Nidoran. I don't know. Pikachu is a good guess. Might be Pika Blue. I'm not sure. So um, this game has three different, uh, I guess, difficulties. There's a uh, normal, which is the difficulty we're on right now. Uh, then there's advanced, which is where you unlock after defeating normal, and then there's EX, which is after you defeat advanced. Um, normal mode specifically only has Gen 1 Pokemon in it. The only reason Shaman's in it, again, is because it's a password. So, uh, we're only going to be seeing Gen 1 Pokemon in this part of the speedrun. Um, once you get to advanced mode, this is a Gen 4 game. So, uh, advanced mode includes only Gen 4 Pokemon, which is, like, somewhat weird in my opinion. I would definitely like to see a nice Lugia or something, but, you know. Giratina is cool, too. All right, so uh, since we're not in rank C and there's no tutorial level, now we just pick the three fastest stages. Um, in terms of length of the stage, Windy Prairie, Fiery Furnace, and Eternal Tower, not in that order, are the fastest in terms of length of stages. Um, and then combining how easy it is to kill uh, each boss, um, Windy Prairie, Fire Furnace, and Eternal Tower beat the other three stages that are on the left. Which is quite the coincidence, but I'm cool with saving time. Another uh, interesting thing about this game is that uh, the momentum that you have when you're walking doesn't stop unless you stop putting an input. So if I walk into a wall, I'm going to keep moving. Um, I don't know why they decided to add that to the game, but they just did. And it can look kind of cool sometimes, I'm not sure. And in each stage, there's certain Pokemon that I'm a little bit more afraid of, I guess. Um, rank C and B is usually fine. I don't have to worry about dying with Rattata. But in the later ranks, Rattata's defense and attack doesn't really raise that much because it's a Rattata. Um, despite it being our Lord and Savior, it still has... Not the best defenses. Um, so once we get to rank A, Rattata is not going to be at that level cap. It's actually uh, highest power is 388. 
Um, and the rank A, the power we need is 400. So it's already going to maximize its power in the next rank, um, which means its defenses, like, it's going to get, when it gets hit, it's going to die earlier than it would, it would in uh, rank A or rank C and B. Um, so there's certain Pokemon that I want to try and stay away from more than others. So like for instance, in this stage, coughing and wheezing are easier to dodge than uh, Haunters and Ghastlies because them charging up their attack takes a lot longer or they're using a ranged attack or something along those lines. Um, so I try to play more carefully or risky depending on the Pokemon are there. And if there's like a situation like that where there's just a big line, I'm just going to tackle through them. It also worth mentioning that, as you told me, enemies can start charging their attacks off screen, right? Yes. Uh, there are some definitely there are some cases which we will see later on in the run too, um, where the enemies can ch start charging their attack because they somehow can see me before I can see them, um, which can really mess with me, especially if it's a Pokemon that doesn't take much time to charge their attack. Um, and in this game, uh, like I said earlier, the bosses can drop and. Um, also, like I said earlier, we want to find the power as soon as possible. And rank B is the most prone st uh, level um, to have the 200 power Pokemon spawn in the third stage, which means that we don't have to go into this fourth stage and grind for Pokemon. Um, so that saves like at least a minute, you can save more depending on the rank in your RNG. That didn't happen uh, this time, but that's okay, because it's all RNG. So the reason we went to the uh, Fiery Furnace instead of Rocky Cave is because the Pokemon in Rocky Cave, for whatever reason, in rank B are just all awful. They are not useful at all. So we just don't like, want to go in there. Alright, so we gotta turn the power Pokemon. Now we're just gonna switch to L and uh, do this Battle Royale. And the Blastoise is useful because Aqua Tail. Um, launches the Pokemon forward, it kind of shows them forward, doesn't have much end lag. Um, in the no passage runs, we have to rely a lot on the Pokemon that are actually spawning in the stages that we go into. Um, so moves like Quick Attack, Aqua Tail, Iron Tail, um, those are all really useful moves. Agility is also really, really useful because um, it either launches us forward and it has a hitbox so we can't get hit or it just helps our speed. So this battle royale has uh, four bosses. This is actually the most unique battle royale um, out of the four that we're going to be doing. Um, because there's four bosses, but they all spawn at different times. Unlike the other ones where they all kind of spawn at once. This is actually a really good start of this uh, battle royale. So since they're, like, they're going to do the same thing, they're going to spawn in a circle and then come on into me. So I'm just going to wait around, kind of, and uh, hit them. So the boss is always going to spawn right in that middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate around him so that I'm hitting everything else and also hitting him. Because um, in order to spawn the last uh, boss, I have to kill at least one of the other ones. Um, and it's not that hard because uh, Alakazam has really bad defense and uh, Golem is super weak to grass. So. It's not a big deal, but you just want to kill them, uh, kill one of them before you kill the rest of the Pokemon that are flying. And the bosses um, load in depending on how many Pokemon are left, which you can see at the top, uh, top left, or top right, <laughs> um, right underneath the timer. I can be a little bit more careful. Um, a champ is like super scary. He does a lot of a, da a lot of damage and he doesn't take that much time to load his um load his attack, so it's a little spooky, but we we did a really good job there. And uh, until last night, I was uh, using Blastoise in the battle royales. Um yeah, that that was I was about to say actually. Yeah. Uh, so for uh, for the longest time I was using um Rattata for the movement and, and Blastoise for everything else. Um, especially the fighting. And Shaman was just an af afterthought, like if I died with Blastoise. But since uh, I started um, definitely looking into the run a little bit more to see if and if I could find anything uh, faster for this marathon specifically, um, I found out that doing A rank and S rank with Shaman was faster than using Blastoise. 
So yesterday, uh, when I went back to my hotel room, I decided to uh, time if uh, it would be faster to be Blastoise, or uh, you came in and seeing it be, and it was definitely faster. So that's all new, <laughs> which is really neat. So what we're, what we're seeing now is a brand new strat then. Say that again? Uh, what we're seeing now is a brand new strat. No, oh, well right here is there is like your basic stuff. Um, in the Battle Royales, yes. Everything in the Battle Royales is, is, br is brand new. Hasn't been done in a, like a PB attempts or anything before. And uh, in order for me to actually be able to PB, because um, my PB is actually really good, so 3225. In order for me to be able to PB in this game, I have to get one of the early power drops. So in the third stage, I have to get the power to drop. Um, and I've never had it happen in any other rank other than B. So it's most likely I'm not going to PB, uh, but that's very fine. There's so much stuff that can go wrong in terms of RNG at least to the point where I have to like re-enter a stage after going through the entire stage trying to kill everything. Um, hopefully I'm not jinxing myself because A rank is the most prone rank for that to happen. Um, for whatever reason, there's like a really weird gap of like, uh, I don't want to say skill, but like how good of the Pokemon are. Because uh, in rank C, you know, they're all level or uh, three evolutions and maybe like a few uh, second evolutions or something. Rank B makes a little bit more sense. Um, but rank A kind of doesn't know what to do with itself. And it just has like not fully evolved Pokemon or some fully evolved Pokemon and maybe not even anything that's fully evolved. It's just it's just not that great with Pokemon that are actually in the ranks. Um, so it's kind of rough to find a stage that has good Pokemon in it for the uh, power drop. Um, even to the extent where it's not even necessary for you to go to a specific stage. Um, it's just go to like one of three stages and you should be fine. We'll go into which stage we're going to after this rank, or after this stage. So again, we're going to Windy Prairie, Fire Furnace, Eternal Tower. Um, it's just, they keep giving us really good RNG and I'm just taking it. <laughs> the, especially in Eternal Tower, like almost all the bosses in Eternal Tower have the least amount of defense except for rank C. And that's most prevalent in uh, this rank because it's a Gengar. Spoiler alert. Oh, and uh, I forgot to mention this earlier. Uh, this game like totally doesn't listen to the rules that Pokemon originally made. So normal type attacks can hit ghosts. Ghost type attacks can hit normal Pokemon. Hitmonchan can punch Gengar right in the face and he will actually get hurt by it. It doesn't make any sense, but it makes the it makes running the game, playing the game a lot more easier. So I understand why they did it. But there's no uh, type disadvantages. There's only type advantages. Um, everything that's, that's super effective is still super effective. It's just nothing can not affect a Pokemon. And we're going to go pick up that Haunter just in the very rare fact that it could be 400 power. It's not. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to go back into the Rocky Cave. Uh, the stages that you could go into is Rocky Cave, Windy Prairie, or Eternal Tower. They're all decent. Pokemon, or they all have these like Pokemon in it, with the possibility of getting the power that you need. Um, it's just A rank is the least fun rank in my opinion. <laughs> oh, there we go! Wow, that's actually really good RNG. Second room is a uh, really, really early to get that. Take that out with the zoom. The reason I go back to the uh, like earlier Pokemon that I fought in rank C is because they die easier. Very simple. Alright, that's actually really, really good RNG for rank A. We're flying through this run. And we're going to use Shaman again. Um, because there's no shame in using Shaman. You like that pun? You like that pun? Yeah, yeah. Ah, good. Alright. 
All right, so um, this is actually really a pretty decent RNG, actually, uh, for Pokemon to spawn here. Because, again, um, <laughs> not a stuck up to the RNG what Pokemon spawn, but what Pokemon in that stage spawn is RNG. Uh, and so, like, I got I got quite a bit of Kabuto, um, and sometimes I can't, I won't get any. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty good. Okay. That was a little spooky. I got hit by them a champ earlier, so I'm a little low on health, but we're fine. Okay. Fire and electric are both scary for me. Try and stay right in the middle so that we're hitting the bosses, especially for this. Okay, that's fine. So since we have to uh, go back in the chain or uh, the Rattata anyway, uh, we're just gonna go into it now and just finish this off. Uh, we don't want to start with Rattata obviously because uh, Double Edge does recoil damage, um, and if we stay in there the whole time, we're obviously gonna die. So using him at the end is actually not that big of a deal since we have to switch into him anyway. He seems to be pretty effective against the boss, though. Yeah, he does a lot of damage to the bosses. And then the uh, the difficulty gap that I talked about earlier with rank B to A, um, it's like way more difficult from A to S. Um, the power that we need to get in rank S is uh, 600. Um, and right off the bat, the Pokemon are already at well over 500 power. Um, you don't really get 400 power Pokemon in rank S that often. Um, so basically, Rattata is a ticking time bomb. If he gets hit by anything, he's either a hit away from death or he dies in one hit. So um, me being a little afraid of certain Pokemon is more pre prevalent now. So in each, rank, or in each stage, there's going to be Pokemon that I'm going to hope to not see or just really try to avoid. Um, so in this stage, Arcanine and Rapidash are definitely a lot more scary than uh, Charizard and Electrode because their moves take a lot less time to charge. Also, ranged attacks aren't usually as scary as uh, close up hits. And that Ditto right down there. Uh, Ditto can spawn in any stage. Okay, yeah, we're good. We heard this video again. Okay, cool. So ideally in rank S, we're going to try and do what we usually do and just complete each stage with Rattata and not have to die. Um, but that's that's kind of rough. So, you know, let's see how this goes. If you time, um, when he, oh, he was one hit away. If you can time uh, when you use um, double edge whenever they do the move to kind of hit me away, um, it'll actually cancel the um, animation of me getting knocked back, and I won't get knocked back. Um, I'll just stand right where I was standing and still do all the damage that double edge does, which is pretty useful. And that's another uh, useful fact with uh, with moves like quick attack. And this is. Those are the two Pokemon that are the worst to spawn, is uh, Hero and Tangela. Uh, but yeah. Um, uh, quick Attack uh, always will cancel out um, getting hit, um, in sec unless if it's like a ranged attack, which like, you, you really don't get hit by. So Quick Attack is like OP move in this game. And the reason we went a little bit out of order in terms of where, like how we're usually uh, going through these stages is because of the defense of the bosses. Um, Moltres has the most defense. Um, well, Moltres and uh, Dragon I have two of the highest defenses, and Zapdos has the least. So we want to go to Zapdos last, um, just because he can take less hits to uh, kill than Dragon I and, Zap and uh, Moltres will. And going back to taking recoil damage, if we use double edge too much, we'll die. So we don't want to die while using the attack. 
I'm a little low on health in terms of me having to use double edge so much, so hopefully uh, I think I should. Um, looks like someone else. Oh, there we go. Nice. And the money in this game doesn't matter at all. Um, it could be somewhat useful in uh, the password categories, uh, but we're not going to be needing to do anything with it. Uh, the more money you have, you can buy Pokemon, because again, they're toys. You can buy Pokemon, um, and you can buy moves for your Pokemon, so if you don't like a move that the Pokemon has, you can switch it out. Nido uh, Queen is probably the worst one here. Nido Queen and like, maybe Alakazam. The, this is not the hardest one. Because, again, the layout of the stage is still really simple for the most part. Oh, easy, scary. Okay. <laughs> Eevee can also be uh, in any stage. Uh, it's just not that common for Eevee to be there. Um, he was there. He got me. So we get to show off some Blastoise tech, that's always fun. Blastoise doesn't have the problem of being really weak. Uh, he can tank hits. I don't mind getting hit by anything, it's fine. Uh, he has, his attack stat is pretty good and Aqua Tail does decent damage, so it's all it's all good. Alright. So since Rank S has uh, a lot of Pokemon that are good. Um, you can really go into a lot of the stages for uh, the power that you need. I personally like to go into Fiery Furnace, um, just because I had, I like Charizard. I, mean, I have better I have better luck with uh, Fiery Furnace than I have with Rocky Cave because Rocky Cave is like the second best, I would say. Find our 600 power on our way to the last ring. Or last battle right now. The ring. Now that's fun. And then worse comes to worse if uh if I don't find the 600 power in this final round. I'm not gonna like try to complete the stage or do the death warp. I'm just gonna straight up just leave the stage. Or leave, yeah, leave the stage. Um, and just wait for it. And it's not that big of a deal at that point. That was gonna be it. <laughs> there we go. Alright. We got our 630 Pokemon. I'll take that L. So you're off to the final arena now. Sorry? You're off to the final arena now. Yes. So this is the final battle royale of uh, normal rank and of this run. And again, there's no shame in using shame. In, so. This is the battle royale where you're most likely going to die. Um, Obviously, it's slower to die, but um, in the long run, it's not the worst to be a little risky in this session. Um, at least try not to be that risky. <laughs> you want to get through this beginning without taking as much damage as you can, um, just because the beginning of the battle royale is always the best part. Um, because once you can get past it, it's just simple. Wait in the middle of a little circle. Wait. 
attack everything. Also a good uh, useful move. This is Seed Flare, by the way. I'm using Seed Flare. I didn't specify that earlier. Um, and the, a really useful thing that uh, Blastoise also doesn't have on Shaman is that uh, I can lower the defense of the Pokemon, so I double how much attack I'm doing to him. So that's really useful. So this is another Battle Royale that also has four Pokemon in it. Um, but the first three spawns at the same time. Oh, that was rough. And also, we have to uh, kill one of the three bosses that first spawn in order to spawn the last one. And the last boss that spawns in here is that secret Pokemon that we talked about earlier. So it's probably going to be Peekaboo, because that's what I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, crap. All right. Who guessed me too? Whoever did, you're right. This rapid dash is Mega Horn. That's a really good move. Look at all that damage. It's super effective against you too. Look at that. I got the type advantage and everything. It kind of looks like uh, Radada's move without the recoil. Yeah. It's a little bit less, uh, a little bit more end lag in startup time, but that's fine. All right. So uh, time is on the congratulations screen. So I'll let you know when that happens. It's about to come up. So that's Pokemon Rumble. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I mean, shout outs to, to all the people that uh, still support me in uh, this game. It's a very uh, not known game since it was a WiiWare game and all that stuff. Um, but it's really fun, super fun casually. There's a lot of stuff to do. Um, and the Spearing community is very small, but it's it's tight knit and we're all, we're all here to have a good time. Um, but yeah, thanks, No Reset, for letting me uh, do this run. And uh, what game is next? Well, first of all, thank you, Rubber Ducky Assassin, for your amazing Pokemon Rumble run. Let's hear it out for Rubber Ducky Assassin, big people. Damn, I can't talk right now. I don't know what's up. I know what's in the iced tea, guys. But go to Pico Speeds. These guys are super chill, really. And they got good drinks. So I just want to say a lot of people are looking forward to this run. All right? And you did not disappoint. It was a great run. How, how do you feel about your performance today? I'm really glad that uh, I got to show off a lot, of new, uh, a lot of new tech that we just recently found. Um, I've spent so much time and energy on this run. This is the first speed game that I really got to um, showcase my love for speedrunning and my love for video games. Um, it's the first game that I got, well, I got, got a world record in, and I've been able to hold my title as the world record holder for three years now. So it's, awesome. just, it's really awesome. That's a really good time. That's, I think, like third place. Awesome. So, yeah, that's a really good time. So from the world record holder himself, we got a top three time on the global leaderboards for Pokemon Rumble. Once again, thank you very much for your run, and it was a pleasure having you with us. Thank you, guys. Now, without further ado, we're going to get ready to finish the Saturday morning cartoon block with Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku, any percent with... Ultra Auburnus on the GBA. So do we have any Dragon Ball fans in the crowd right now? Yeah. Well, if I'm not mistaken, this is a Dragon Ball RPG on the GBA. And it's it's looking real good. I only scrolled through the run because I don't want to spoil myself because I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan. So stick around. And also, we're still raising money for Child's Play. So if you go on our stream page, there's a big donate button. Every single cent goes directly to the foundation. We don't even